<laughs> G'day guys, how are ya? I got some goodies, got some goodies. Check this out. First of all, look at this, 65 inch. Hisense TV. And I've been waiting for this TV for a while now. I've had one of these in my house. Um, I've been storing it for oh, probably a good oh, 18 months, I reckon. Just waiting to find another one. And this one here, I'm pretty sure the screen's okay. I'm pretty sure the screen is perfect. So I'm either gonna use this one here to hopefully fix the TV that I've got, or we'll do vice versa, use the TV that I've already got to fix this one, depending on the issue. Um, yeah, we might get lucky, but that will be a separate video. We'll do a, um, another e-waste TV turn on. I'll do that pretty soon actually, and see if we can get this thing going. But this video is all about these. Look at this. I just found these in a dumpster. How cool is that? These are amps. These are amps. So yeah, I've never had them. I've never ever seen one before. Um, yeah, I've always just used receivers with all the amps built in. But um, yeah, so how cool is this? So this video is not gonna go too long. I just wanna power them up and see if they turn on because if they turn on, there's a really good chance. I reckon they'll work. Um, remember what I always say, if you find one of something, it's a good chance it's busted and they've just tossed it out. But if you find two identical things, there's a good chance they've just, um, you know, they're cleaning out or they're just upgrading or something like that. And I think that's what's happened here. And I'm pretty sure I was thinking about this earlier today that I actually need one or two <laughs> um, two channel preamps. So, wow, that's incredible. It happens all the time. I thought about it and I found it. So, what do you think? We'll take this down to the cinema or the corset shop, plug them in, see if they work. In a future video, we'll kind of put them in a rack that I'm building at the moment and we'll power them up and see how they go. They're so heavy. I can't believe how heavy they are. And that's just two channels. I mean, wow. I'll take one down at a time. Check it out. <laughs> I think I need to kind of wipe the top down. It'll come off. Wow, look at this. How good is that? Let me just get some light happening. Awesome. Awesome. So, slowly coming together. So, uh, let me just find some power. I've got in fact, I've got some power waiting for me down here, all jumbled up. I am just going to race around the back. Let's do the bottom one first. Now that's not turned on at the moment, that's good. I'm going to plug it in. Oh, it is turned on. <laughs> it is turned on. And um, yeah, the fans are turned on. Wow. So there was no grand reveal there. That is turning on. I'm not sure if these lights are supposed to be on. I'm, I'm assuming not. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, well, there you go. So the first one works, the bottom one is working. So I reckon the top one's bound to work. I mean, like I said, I have no idea. I've never used these. I've never actually even held one. That's why I was so surprised how heavy just a two channel amp is. It's 400, I've done a bit of research. It's 400 watts. Okay, let's unplug that and plug it into the top and turn that one on. Oh, that just plugged, that just turned on as well. Wow, awesome. Let me just turn this off. Awesome.
Wow, I didn't realise they had fans in them, so that's just another bit of additional noise. Although in my cinema, if we turn over here, my cinema is going to have a rack virtually in another room. So I'll show you quickly, I'll just quickly show you. If we come down here, my rack will be pretty much in this side room here. I'm building it at the moment and it will be in there. So I'm about to, I'm starting another video where I'm building that now. But um, cool, all right, let's get back up here. But uh, guys, there you go, that's my video. <laughs> I just told you it was gonna be short. I just wanted to see if these worked, I wanted to get it on camera and they do. So I reckon they will work. So that's awesome. Like I'm thinking, really seriously about getting a Denon X8500HA. That's a 13.2 channel receiver. I was thinking about this this morning and I really wouldn't, I've always wanted a 13, uh, sorry, a, um, a 9.2.4 setup. So four Atmos, but I've been thinking, my room is so big, if I have one Atmos here, and one all the way down there, and it's actually gonna be a little bit wider now. It wouldn't hurt to have a middle Atmos. That means I need two more channels. So what did I do? I quickly jumped on the um, Denon website to see if the Denon receiver can handle 15 channels. And it's got multi-outs in the back. Is that pre-outs? So I'm assuming, I don't know. I'm gonna to have to ask the question in one of my Facebook groups. Ask the question if I can basically hook one of these up with the Denon receiver and get 15 channels because if that that's the case, man, that is awesome. That would be so, so cool. Um, I would definitely use one of these. I'd probably use the other one as well because, you know, um, the, the, more, the more stress that you can take off your, um, your receiver, uh, maybe I'll run, say, the front two, you know, the two mains because they probably take up the most power if I can just kind of share the load onto one of these things, that's less stress on my Denon receiver. That's how I'm thinking about it. I don't know, I really don't know. I'm, I'm more of a picture guy. The whole audio thing, yeah, I've been into it my whole life, but Atmos, when it comes to Atmos and these modern day receivers, I'm not really sure. But uh, there you go, just thought I'd um, you know, show you, because it's kind of cool. I keep finding really cool stuff. I'm gonna do a video. I'm definitely going to do a video where I find, where I'm going to show you everything that I've found equipment drop wise, that's going in my rack, my projectors, and all of that stuff that is kind of going to, you know, go towards my home theater. We'll do everything apart from the seats, and you know, I'll show you the speakers and just everything that I've found so far. We'll make a video like that. But um, anyway, there you go. That's it, video's over. All right, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, uh, hit us a, you know, give us a like if you can, it helps my channel. And uh, subscribe if you like, want to see how this thing turns out. And I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.